Hey everyone, this is Brent again. I'm sure that you noticed that this is not my normal place of recording a video. I usually keep it within three of my normal places. The car, school, and home. But tonight, I have something to show you guys. Are you ready for it? First of all, it is Vacation Bible School here at Calvary Church of God in South Carolina. So, if you see this video, this week's VBS. You should come. May 28th through June 1st. I think that's it. 2012. Come on out. Join us every night at 6 o'clock. Tomorrow night, mess your hair up. It's called Wacky Tacky Hair. I had to move that because I was getting my fat chins. Anyway, but I'm going to show you the room because we worked for several days on this room. Me, Joe Hyde, and Reba Rogers, aka Marley Rogers. I mean, that's her name, but I call her Reebs or Reba, or Reba Q, something. Anyway, there's her shout out, so be happy with it, okay? Anyway, we worked on this room for a while, and so far, the kids really enjoy it. We, in the service, are known as the pet store, but once they get up here, I meet them at the door and say, have you guys ever known, have you ever owned or seen a fish tank before? And then we walk into a fish tank. If it's dark, I'm sorry, because it really is kind of dark in here. And we have a fog machine that I'm not going to turn on in here because it'll just fog up the video and I ain't trying to deal with that tonight. Okay. Um, we had a child in one of our classes that had asthma tonight. It didn't bother her, but it scared me to death after I realized, okay, someone could have asthma and this could hurt them. Being a public school teacher in a couple of years, I probably need to get with the act on that kind of thing. So, anyway, I'm going to show you the room from this point of view because I ain't trying to get up because you'll see how much I struggle to get up off the floor. So, I ain't doing that. So, here is the first view. Sorry, my finger in the way. This is our treasure chest. Treasure chest painted by Joe Hyde and Brent Shedd at 2 o'clock in the morning last week. And there's our lights. And I don't know if you can see them, but marbles on the floor along with a fishbowl of candy. How creative was that? Go Joe, you know, fishbowl inside an aquarium. <laughs> it's funny, but it works. Our palm tree is up there. You see the blowing in the wind? We have a fan sitting back there to make it all creative and junk. Um, so our walls are out of tablecloths and you can see the tape really bad on it right now, but that's okay. You can't really do it when you're in here. It's supposed to be water. And if you look up, there's our light. All the kids say, oh my gosh, is that a boat? Well, I pretty much tell them it is. We didn't really have a, it's really a light, but if they like the boat, they have the boat. And there's our one air conditioner vent beside it that, you know, tries to cool the room, but sometimes fails. But our walls and our fish that was painted by Stephanie Moore. Any more fish? And here's the rest of our room. A plant to block off the door that's over there. And then rocks. You can see it. There's our little area. There's a light over there. The fog machine. All that stuff over there. My sound system to make the, the fish tank noises along with more rocks and the stand where I stand <laughs> the pulpit thing I guess where I teach but usually I had to stand there only with the 9 through 11 year olds because we had like 30 of them usually there's about 50 and they can't really fit in one room so we have to have them in the sanctuary or something but we had 30 of them so they fit in here kind of tightly but they fit and I had to stand at the stand <laughs> it's so weird I didn't come up with a different name for that and actually teach them the lesson there. Our lesson was about, it was titled Cleanse Me, O Lord. And all it was about was basically God doesn't like us being dirty. He wants us to read our Bible and pray and seek Him. And um, we relate that to a fish tank because the first question I asked them, what happens to a fish tank if we don't clean it? And of course, you get the first response that it gets dirty. The next response was the fish die. I wasn't looking for such violent answers, but that's what they gave me, so I took it. Um, that came from the 9-11 year old, so. But it worked out great. I really enjoy it. Marley and Joe um, really have great ideas. Our church really has some great ideas. We don't follow the trends of our 
local churches. We think outside the box, thanks to Nancy Smith and Stephanie Moore for thinking outside the box and getting our theme called Mall of Calvary, the changing place. The sanctuary is decorated like a mall, different shops, and we only have four classes. One of them's the pet store, the fish tank. One of them's camouflage, like the Bass Pro Shop type theme, candy store, and then the movie store where they give the kids popcorn. It's really fun. We give our kids candy. But Calvary really does think outside the box. We we try our best to. We want the kids to really like it and come back because we can minister some. We can minister to some kids up here. Now I'm telling you. Uh, tonight I thought saw on the board we had 192 kids, which is pretty good for Memorial Day week. So, all right, I've talked to you for about six minutes. So I'm gonna go ahead and get off here. This is my first video of several tonight. I actually got in um, the mood to make Brent moment videos. I have to be in a mood for them, and I'm sorry for that. If you guys watch it, if some of you like them, and I know a couple of you do, some of you've asked me in person and all that why I haven't made videos. I apologize. I've been so busy doing VBS stuff. VBS is my favorite week of the year and I really enjoy it. I enjoy kids and all that stuff. I guess that's why I'm going to be a teacher. So anyway, you guys have a good night. If I don't post anything tonight, I may not post this tonight either. I don't, I don't even know. Maybe tomorrow. Anyway, bye.